Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I'm over here at BHB chilling with my guy RJ. How you doing today, RJ? Let's push our problems aside for the next 12 or 15 minutes and have a great time together. I'm gonna start with a pretty cool clutch that we cut not too long ago while they finally hatched out. This was that lemon blast orange dream that was bred to a pastavi orange dream. So you know I love the orange dream stuff and we got some really cool orange dream stuff in here. We have just a little lemon blast orange dream here, which again, it's just a pastel, it's a pinstripe, and it's an orange stream, which is pretty cool. And then we ended up actually with a pinstripe orange stream. Now, you might even ask yourself, like, Brian, that doesn't look very orange for a pinstripe. But what I do see is that huge reduction of pattern. Now, orange stream will actually reduce pattern and clean things up, too. So this is definitely not a normal pinstripe. Definitely an orange stream pinstripe. And you can kind of see the difference of a normal pinstripe here that is basically just kind of got wider pattern. This is 100% normal pinstripe, which is completely fine. It's cool. Then we ended up having a little pastel orange dream here. Again, some of the orange dream stuff and the single gene isn't that incredible, but as you mix it into certain genes, it really pops. And then when you get into the super version, oh my goodness, they start getting amazing. And this is the first little super that we hatched right here. This is actually a lemon blast super orange dream. So again, that's a pastel, it's a pinstripe, and then it's got both expressions of orange dream calling it a super. Meaning that if I breed this guy, every single baby is gonna come out orange dream, right? And then of course pastel and pinstripe and whatever else I breed into, but absolutely incredible. And then the animal that I think is the most gorgeous, to be totally honest with you, is this one right here, which is actually just a pastel super orange dream and sometimes the simplicity is where it's at you know what I mean I tell you, super orange dream stuff really gets good when you just mix it into pastel sometimes into spider stuff I mean just look at the orange coming up the side the cleanliness of that animal I mean it is absolutely a ripper I love it so super cool that we hatched this clutch out great way to start the day adding to my orange dream stuff I'll probably hang on to the super orange dream stuff maybe sell the other stuff I'm not exactly sure I know that I need more orange dream stuff in my life there's no doubt about it so it's a great way to start the day oh and by the way we have a pretty busy and hectic day it's gonna be a good one I'm excited people because here in just a little bit we have the walls and the tree are going to be here so we're gonna be able to install the walls today uh, get the tree in the center stuff like that the ceilings not gonna be here for another day or two and we only have four days left guys so ideally I'd like to put the ceiling in and then the tree in the walls but I've got to just do what I can do because uh, we are running out of time again four days till we leave to go get Drogo so uh, I'm excited to get this room looking really good. So hopefully by the end of the day, this will start really looking like a sloth exhibit. There's no way that we're gonna get around to getting the door in before we leave to go get Drogo, but uh, I want you guys to know that the main reason for the door is not now, it's when she gets too big to lift up, because we take her out all the time and just set her on the floor, which we're about to do in a second, because we've got some cactus pads for one of her favorite foods. So the biggest thing with this door is really when we can't lift her up and we have to get her out on her own, which we may have a completely different setup anyways if we do 3.0, but that's a whole nother story. But in the meantime, not gonna get to the store, but we are gonna go ahead and get Matilda out, give her some cactus pads, and let her roam around like we always do. And I think some people have the impression like she never gets an opportunity to walk around. She loves prickly pear cactus. So Lori's giving her her favorite treat. And she gets to walk around a lot. We just have to pick her up and take her out like that. And she is getting heavy. I should weigh her pretty soon because I'm telling you what, it was tough to even to just lift her up. That's why we need that door for sure. Okay, Matilda, your favorite food. She is such an amazing animal, and Lori certainly loves her to death. I mean, this is definitely Lori's little baby over here at the Reptarium. That's for sure. 
So again, more and more she's getting an opportunity to just kind of cruise around. Lori will just kind of baby her for a little bit and uh, then we'll let her cruise around the rest of the day. Again, the door is more for when we can't lift her up over, which is gonna happen pretty soon. Plus it'd be kind of nice just to swing the door open, let her come out if she wants to. If she doesn't want to, she doesn't have to. But there's no doubt she's getting more and more comfortable walking around even on a little bit of a slippery floor. So uh, she's cruising around like crazy. Love this girl and uh, definitely let Lori just give her some treats. As I'm sitting here at my fish spot, you guys know that I am all about mind, body, health, everything like that. So I teamed up with a cool company called Hawthorne. These guys put out a ton of skincare products and wellness products. You know, I mean, from shampoos to cleansers to lotions, stuff like that. Listen, you guys know I build a lot of things. I also work with animals, which means that my hands can get beat up. I get dry skin. I get all kinds of stuff. And it's pretty cool because these guys have an amazing website where you can take a quiz and get a self-tailored product list. You can talk about about lifestyle, skin type, uh, your, your what you like, something like that, and they literally will self-tailor a bunch of products that are just for you. I mean, specifically for you. I actually took that quiz, and here's my list. And I'm not gonna lie, since I've been using some of Hawthorne's products, I mean, my hands are softer. I love the smell, I'll be totally honest with you. It's really high quality. I've even been using my hair. You guys know I got some hair over here, right? So I've been using their hair care products. Been working out really good. And the fact is, is that I love the fact they have a great return policy, too. If you get products, that you don't like for whatever reason. You don't like the smell, you don't like the way it works. You can actually get free return and the retailer product specifically for you based on your feedback of what you didn't like, as well as free shipping. Take Hawthorne's quiz today and get started on your personal self-care routine by going to hawthorne.co using the promo code BRIANB and you'll get 10% off your first order. That's hawthorne.co using the promo code BRIANB for 10% off your first order. So again, guys, I appreciate you supporting companies that support this vlog. So go check it out. I mean, dude, I'm serious. You're going to love the high quality of this products. And hey, you're going to probably smell and look a lot better. Going through baby snakes like I often do, and this clutch was incredible. Remember that pastel lesser clown that was bred to the pastel leopard clown? We produced some rippers, and now they've shed out. This is actually a pastel leopard lesser clown ball python. Just absolutely wonderful. And this one here is just a pastel leopard clown ball python, so it doesn't have the lesser genes. So this is just like the daddy, and I tell you what, I love that influence. Once these guys have shed, whoo doggy, these things are gorgeous. And then take a look at this. This is actually a leopard lesser clown ball python. For whatever reason, the lesser and the leopard have always went well together. And then you add that recessive clown gene in it. And oh my gosh, look at the lack of head pattern on that, that cool pattern. And then that beautiful reduced stripe down its back. Oh my goodness gracious. That thing is unbelievable. And then this is another pastel lesser leopard clown ball python, but it's a little bit more reduced than that first one. It has those kind of dotting down its side, the really reduced stripe down its back that's diffused out from the actual pastel and the lesser unbelievable i mean these things are i love these things we produced the clutch last year and we kept all of them it's going to be really hard to decide if we're going to sell any of these ones this year but the one i am definitely not going to sell is this one here this is the super pastel lesser leopard clown ball python remember i thought i produced one last year but it turned out it was just a pastel lesser leopard clown once i hatched this one out i realized that this was the killer or the super version of it and oh my goodness just the lavender hues and everything and this little monkey is fired up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, it wants to give me a pop every time I look at it, but that's good because that's gonna mean that's gonna eat really well. Whoa, come on, little buddy. Whew. Tell you what, he's got an attitude, but this one is definitely staying here and it's gonna be a good breeder in the future. What a beautiful clutch of snakes now that they've shed out. My buddy RJ's out. Hey, RJ, don't go, don't leave me, don't leave me. He left me. He doesn't like me like he used to. Kluber Groom is basically done next door. We just have to pipe in some cold air and stuff like that, which is supposed to be done sometime next week. And then the Kalubers actually go into brumation. I mean, there's so many beautiful animals, a lot of new animals that'll be up for the very first time, like this crimson scaleless corn snake right here. I mean, we have probably a good 100, 150 new breeders that are big enough to breed this next year that weren't big enough last year. This actually will go into a larger case. Whoa, what is wrong with you, little monkey? This is actually a hat albino bull snake and oh my gosh someone woke up on the wrong side of the tub today because uh it is definitely unhappy what's the matter little monkey you're okay 
Whew. I think I'll just go ahead and shut that. But nevertheless, all these animals are going to be going down probably in about two weeks or so. They go into the Kluber room. And what's neat is that we had been moving these from here down into a brumation room. And then ultimately, we had to bring them back up here. Now they get to stay down full time. We'll cool the room off and then we'll just warm it up, leave them down there. So much less work for us. It's going to be amazing. And that's all part of trying to clear out BHBs upstairs, right? Because why are we cleaning out BHBs upstairs? Maybe because Reptile 3.0 is on. On its way. Well guys, uh, the sloth room still looks pretty much the same, right? Well, unfortunately, I just got some troubling news. Shipment's not going to be here today. Hopefully, we'll be here tomorrow. So four days turned into three days. So now we have three days to get the walls up, the trees up, all of the hanging branches, stuff like that, and the ceiling. We are definitely running out of time, guys. I was bummed. I had a bunch of time slated today to do this. Now we're not going to be able to do this, and hopefully they won't postpone it again because literally with only three days left, we have no time. We need to get on the road in three days to go get the slot. So uh, that's disappointing, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit stressed out, but uh, we're going to hopefully get it tomorrow, and we'll bang it out, and then uh, just take it a day at a time, right? back at you with another clutch of eggs to cut here. This is actually, I think, the third or fourth of this combination because we produced some really cool ones. It's a pastel female bred to a pewter lesser. So remember those kind of real purpley looking snakes that we hatched out earlier this year? That's this clutch too. Last one of this one of the entire year. So hopefully, with any luck, the purple ones are super pastel, pewter lessers, right? So they're a super pastel, they're a cinnamon, and they're a lesser. There's really kind of lavender looking ones. So let's hope we hit the odds on this clutch and let's just jump into egg number one. Here we go. Gosh, I, I always get excited about it. And right off the rip, we got a pewter lesser. It's not the purple one, it's not the super pastel, but it is the pastel, it's the cinnamon, it's the lesser. So that is absolutely incredible. I love these guys. It's one of my favorite morphs, to be honest with you. Just the clean, kind of beautiful gray lines with them. Really cool. We still have, what, two, four, six, seven eggs to go. We gotta hit a purple one, right? Let's do it. And who knows, we might even need a couple of them. I'm gonna be real optimistic today. But right off the rip, we just had what looks like maybe just a pastel. I don't even think it's a super pastel. It might be a super pastel, but it's either a pastel or a super pastel. Uh, let's keep moving on. And again, there could be lots of combinations in this this breeding, but it looks like, looks like that. Yeah, absolutely. We hit it. We hit the purple lavender snake for sure. That, oh gosh, every time I hit these, I love them. Again, this is the super pastel cinnamon lesser, and it's ridiculous. And we hit it on the third egg. We still have five eggs to go. So let's hit another one or hit some combinations thereof. Who knows? We could still produce so many cool animals. Let's do it. I am so happy we hit another one of those. Like I said, I think we've already hit four or five of them this year and they are so beautiful. This happens to be, looks like a little cine, cine pastel. So it's, this is what they would call a pewter. So it's a pastel and it's a cinnamon, just straight two gene animal. Not bad. Four eggs to go. I don't know. I hope you guys are going to miss egg cutting when it's done. We don't have that many more clutches to cut. So it's going to be, and again, another pewter lesser. So pastel, cine, and lesser. Uh, not that many more eggs to cut. Some of you guys are getting bored with it. I get it, but uh, I'm going to miss it because it's been an amazing year. I mean, 160 clutches or whatever we've cut this year. It's been pretty insane, and we've got three eggs left in this clutch. One more of those all gene animals, and the next three eggs would be awfully nice. But right off the rip, we got just another cine. This is a single gene animal, just a cine pastel. So uh, just a cine. They used to call them cine pastels. Now they just call them cines. Two eggs to go. And it's interesting how names kind of change over the years from one thing to another, you know, just kind of shorten and stuff like that. Got another pastel cine lesser. So that's three pastel cine lessers, or what they would call pewter lessers, in this clutch already. One egg to go. I would love to end this clutch on an all gene animal. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. What do we have? Uh, oh, another pewter lesser. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So we did only hit one of the all gene animals, but we hit four pewter lessers. That is really good odds. They're beautiful. Love it. Can't, uh, I tell you what, I'm just so happy every time I cut a clutch of eggs. Definitely going to miss all these snakes when they're in brumation. There's no doubt about it, but I am super excited for next year's breeding season because we have so many cool animals are up to size. If you guys like this video, as a matter of fact, right here is an egg laying video of tons of clubber snakes and ball pythons. If you so choose, it helps my click through rate. So go check some of those out if you don't mind. Up here, could you please subscribe to my podcast channel called Checking In. On this side, I hope that you're subscribed to this channel. If not, hit that subscribe button. Turn all notifications on if you don't mind. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, 
be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.